Okay, uh, so now we're going to add a database in PHP MySQL and then in the next video we're going to start adding some records. Okay, so I am assuming you have a uh, uh, PHP my admin successfully installed I recommend you do it with MAMP um, okay so what's the first thing we want to do well let's create a database okay so let's call it uh, friends and okay collation now here, uh, we want to, uh, this has to do with character encoding, and let's go all the way down here to UTF, Unicode, CI, which is case insensitive. Just go ahead and do that. Don't, this will work for all languages, so just use that one. I recommend you do, you follow these steps exactly the way I do them. Okay. Oh, that's our. Well, no, no. Um. Let's. Let's do this. No, let's go back. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We'll refresh. Oops, just a moment here. We're gonna create one. We'll just call it. Um. Test database. Okay. And we're going to go like this. Do that again. Okay, so I wanted the table to be called friends. The number of columns, there's going to be five. Then we hit go. Okay. And this one, we're going to call it friend ID and it needs to this we're going to make this what is called our primary key um, and you need to do it just like this we're going to give it a type of integer okay don't put anything in value we're going to go over here and we're going to look at the index and we're going to give that a uh, primary okay then this will pop up and yes, it's primary. Yes, it's primary. Okay, and we're going to hit go. All right. Now, we need to check this uh, AI for auto increment so that each time a new record is created, we're going to create new records here. Uh, and each time we do it, each time we do it, we want to create a new um, we want to create a new um, ID, which is going to start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so it will auto, auto, automatically increment. Okay, this is auto increment that value. Okay, now the next one, uh, we're going to call it first, uh, first name. We're going to give it a var char variable character. Okay, and the length, well, most names are not that long, but let's just be on the safe side. Let's give it 100. It could be 100 characters. We're not going to put anything in default. It could, we could give something as a default. We could put it as defined. We're not going to do that. Sometimes we want to do that, not always. Collation, again, we want to be able to have all kinds of languages um, and all kinds of character sets so we're going to give that Unicode case insensitive don't touch anything here okay now we're going to create one last name var char we're going to do let's do the same thing this we could put 80 but um, you don't want to put this value too high because then if you have thousands and thousands of records in your database it will 
affect the memory um, and it'll affect the amount of memory use so we don't want to do that we're gonna go down here again to UTF-8 okay and we're gonna say this city bar char uh, city won't be that long so I'll give it 50 We're going to have one called email. We're going to give it a bar char. Let's put the 100 in there again. Uh, to be on the safe side, I just always like to give any strings. I give any strings UTF-8, uh, Unicode case insensitive. All right. And we want storage engine InnoDB. And then we can see here we're going to save it. Okay, so here's our friends table. And it is in our test database. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to click here, server local host. Whoops. If it does that, just hit refresh, you know, just hit refresh here and it'll be okay. Um, we need to get back here where you see server localhost. Then this users tab will appear. Otherwise, you won't see it back on the previous screen. We're going to hit users. We need to create a user. Okay, here we hit add user. And we'll call this um, uh, some user. And now here, you should change this to localhost. Don't leave that at any, okay? Because there are certain configurations on your local machine that could create a problem there. So let's make the password hello123, H-E-L-L-O-1-2-3. We'll confirm it, H-E-L-L-O-1-2-3, hello123. Obviously, you want a better password, especially um, in production. Now. Just do this exactly the way I do. Global priv privileges, check all. So now you can see all of these are checked. Don't touch these. Don't touch require SSL. Come over, hit go. All right, so now it was some user. You can remember that it's some user. Um, now I'm going to tell you what this file is in just a second. Some user, hello one two three. Our database. What is it? Test database. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we didn't. You need to be very careful here. Um. All right. Well. What we're doing here, you can see at the top of our code, we have an include statement, and we're bringing in everything in DB connection, which is this file right here. Okay, and what that code is, uh, here we're creating an object. We're using the new keyword to create a new object. Okay, and you can just copy my database code down here exactly the way it is um, and so essentially if there's an error we're going to echo we're going to print that out to the screen if there's an error connecting okay so notice here we have localhost here we have our user here we have our password and here we have the database name okay not the table name the database name all right so now okay we're checking that there's a post well first let's let's go down here and take a look at our form okay so in our form i have one two three four different database elements that i want to insert in the database 
Okay, well, at any rate, I'm going to break this into two. Uh, two. We have created our database, right? I'm going to break this into two or three videos. So let's just recap here. We have a database. We can. What are our databases? Okay. And here we have a uh, test database. That's our database. Okay. And here in the structure, we have a friends table. We can click on that. Um, oh, oh, here's structure. Okay, here's our structure. So we can look at our structure. You can see that key there that says that this is, uh, this will be unique. Okay, this will be absolutely unique in those columns. It will be unique. And I'll show you here if we went to domains. Um, or let's see if we went to new foreign apartments. So you can see apartment ID seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up. Do, 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 do. Okay, there I called this one apartment ID. I deleted some of the earlier ones, but uh, you get the idea. So we're going to go back to our test database. We're going to look at the structure again. First name, last name. You can check these things, right? OK. Auto increment. Um, it's the primary key. All right. So let's move on to the next video. And we're going to learn how to put records into our database.